What's up guys, welcome back. Patreon request today from Alex over on Patreon. He requested Alexander Isaac, who plays for Newcastle. And he sent me this image. So let's give this a go. If you have specific requests, consider signing up to Patreon. I'm not like super active over there or anything. It's just a way for people to get requests, requests to me. That's hard to say. Uh, if they really need something done. Okay. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pose if I go too fast. So, a bit of a tricky drawing. We're kind of in pre quarter pose. The image he sent me wasn't the best. It's like his eyes aren't that clear. It's a bit pixelated. I tried to find a bigger image but couldn't. So, we'll do our best with what he sent. So, center point of my page is about here. Come up over to the right. And we start with his eyes. So let's just go for it. So a contorted sort of face, you know, gritting his teeth is after scoring a goal, I think. Boom. Diagonal line, curve it up and over, down this way. And this is like his eyelash line, right? So, you know, you'd have some eyelashes there on the end. He's a human, so they have to be there. You can't see them in the picture, but they gotta be there. So you just thicken that up a little bit at the end. And then we have his tear duct here close to his nose, right? So it goes like down, spiky, sort of there. And then it comes up and over and around to there, just underneath the eyelashes. His iris then, and it's just black, so just like a semicircle. there and we will just leave a highlight and color it black right because we can't sort of see anything else in his eyes so we'll just color this dark okay and then his tear duct line just about there Eyelashes on the bottom of his eye, so we just got like dots and dashes line, broken line, with some eyelashes sticking off there. So his eyebrow, he's like frowning super heavy, so his eyebrow looks like it's flexed, like the muscles in his forehead are like really sort of contorted and his eyebrow will go this way. And then it kind of curves down his brow. And comes back up down this way it can be a kind of sketchy hairy line if you want it to be like so you know some like frowning heavy lines there and his brow just going that way so his eye is like all so he's like gritting his teeth so you got like an eyelid line just coming around here Right, kind of like that. Maybe another eyelid line just above his eye here. Right, so we got like a frown here, so it's got like a bumpy sort of part on the top of his brow connected to the other eyebrow, right? So we got like this bumpy sort of part on his nose, and this has all sort of skin wrinkles and things just like coming down his nose there and then the other eyebrow is just here same sort of thing like real sketchy sort of line Big frowning section like this for his brow right and like forehead lines there and then his other eye just in here so you're about eye width across between tear ducts so like the width of his eye will give you the distance you want to go and so his, his other eye will start about there so the width of this eye fits in between right from tear duct to tear duct right and that's where you can start the other eye and it curves over again we got some eyelashes on the end
in that pointy tear duct just there and then it kind of curves up down back up to the corner he's iris then again dark sort of half circle or semicircle just in here and then his tear duct line like so and we will just put another highlight sort of here just this sort of shape and then color around it black because we can't see I'm assuming his eyes are dark brown but it's just so dark in the picture you can't see his pupil really so that's all you need to do for that and then we have top eyelid line coming across here we got all these wrinkles and bags under his eyes oh yeah bottom eyelashes so just a dash line there with some eyelashes sticking off and there's some more wrinkles on his nose so like in here So his nose then comes down this way. Bridge of his nose comes out to the front of the nose and around him like that. And then we have a nostril over this side, quite long. We'll shadow it up. Maybe a bit of skin going that way. And we can actually see the skin on the nostrils as well. So like these big flared so they're kind of like flared because he's like he's looking real aggressive right so like that and then the nostril on this side just sort of comes out from here flared up and around here like that you might have some more sort of wrinkles on the side of his nose and stuff Maybe just shadow up this nostril a little bit more. It's so like contorted faces and stuff like this are quite difficult. So, you know, take your time, right? Hit pause a lot. <laughs> okay. So like frowning stuff here. So his mouth, his teeth are showing, right? And he's gritting his teeth. And so we've got like the line for like the side of his cheek sort of here and coming down on this side as well. Right, come, this comes all the way down the side of his mouth, the skin line. And his mouth is in here. So let's go for this. So teeth section, so we go, his top lip goes down in the middle, back up, curves around here, comes down, it's kind of like a Dragon Ball character, shouting, and then this comes down like so, and then the bottom lip just curves over here. So this is the space for where his teeth will be. And he does have a bit of a top lip line, just coming down here. And it looks like he's a mustache, am I right? I'm not sure. So this just curves around for his top lip there. And then the bottom lip line comes around. It's all stretched out and sort of skinnier like that. So we have a bit of a shadow here in the corner for where the teeth start, right? And on this side as well, sort of here. Dark, all dark inside here. So teeth inside. So we've got like the gum line, okay? So you, to do the gum line, you just do these little points. See that? That come around his teeth. 
and like in the middle you'll have one for the middle of the center of his teeth and then they kind of just go out from there like that see you do the same thing on the bottom just little points sticking up And then the actual lines for the teeth themselves. Right, it's kind of like that, so he's looking like real aggressive. So, he has facial hair, just like, just these sort of, this sort of line stuff just coming across. Just like a tash kind of thing. Nothing major, just stuff like that. And then he has a beard, more of a beard type thing on his, on his chin. So you just add like spiky kind of hairlines and then it's kind of curly, just sort of sticking off here. Then we could have like just a shadow underneath his chin. So like lines, like hatching lines just there. Right, so jaw comes out from the beard on this side, so just like out here, and his, his cheek is clenched, right, so it curves up and out like that, right, and you'll have like, like facial lines stretched and stuff. And then his jaw on this side, so we're in three quarter pose, so we can just see like the side of his face. So it just comes up and out for his cheek in towards the corner of his eye there. Up around for his forehead, going that way then. So we can only see one ear. So just above this, we have like his sideburn. So he's got like shaved side of his head, but we can see like a little bit of a sideburn just here for his hairline. And then the sideburn becomes the ear and it's in line with the eyebrow. So you can see, see it sort of line up with this line here, your ears and your earlobe usually lines up with your nose when a person is looking forward, okay? So, shape for the ear then, just coming in here, and then like the side of his face joins these ear lines, like so, and you can add some more sort of lines inside like that, if you want. So the rest of his hairline just comes across as sort of a zigzag. His shaved head, but it's kind of, you got to draw it kind of hairy or people won't really know what it is. So you got to do it like a sketchy line. And then the rest of his forehead here. And then we can see some hair on this side. And then the back of his head comes up and around. 
can be kind of bumpy. And some textures maybe on this. And then some lines just on the side of his head for like veins and things because he's freaking out because he just scored a goal. Do, 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 do. Right, so the back of his neck, he's kind of like leaning down. So like the back of his neck comes out here. And we got like a neck muscle going that way, coming down here. And like going down that way as well. Right, so his body is sort of leaning this way, right? So we've got a higher shoulder up there, and then this one, his back and shoulder comes down like this way. So he's like tilted. He's running, right? So his collar then, that Newcastle jersey going that way. And there's black and white lines inside this. So you just go around the edge again and then do another one inside. So his arm, his other shoulder on this side comes down. And then the line for his chest is like here, and you got the Newcastle crest there, and it kind of bumps in down like that. And then his sleeve sort of waved, bumps out this way. And then you can just see like his bicep in there, his forearm going off, and his other shoulder just continues down like that. So, for the shoulder, we have a black line on top here. Right, and this has another black area there. And then he's got a black line on the shoulder here. And then his shoulder line sort of comes off this way on that side. And then that black shoulder line there. And the Newcastle. So we've got like a black line there. There. And this way. So that's black, white, black. You can just see the Newcastle crest. I'll draw like the main shape of it. So, and then the other edge of the black line there. Coming down his chest there. Some lines on the end of his jersey. And then 
another edge black line going that way and then we have like wings here and then a white line coming down that way and like you could put like some fold lines just on the chest just to show the fabric sort of being pulled over his body like so right so that is alexander isaac who plays for newcastle patreon request anyone else with requests of characters or celebrities that i don't normally draw head over to patreon as i said it's just a way of getting um requests to me you can message me you can email me your drawings and stuff and if you want me to put them at the end of videos and things you can ask me to do it if you're tier three patron and i can show people your drawings on my channel how about that? Boom. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.